The one thing that we can all say that we're lacking is energy. And we've tried many different things only to find that they don't work. How many of us out there drink multiple cups of coffee? We can have a cup of coffee right before we go to bed and it does nothing. And so in today's video, I'm gonna give you six different ways that you're gonna be able to increase your energy naturally while avoiding coffee. So number one is you need to start your day off right. And how does that work? We all use alarm clocks. How many of us are annoyed with our alarm clocks? Now what I want you to do is go to your app store and find an app called The Gentle Wake Up. This alarm clock is astonishing. Like I absolutely love it. The way that it works is you would set it for 20 minutes prior to when you wanna wake up. And what it does is it, you gotta put it somewhere where it's facing your body and you would have the screen facing you. And what it does is it slowly emits a light. And it's supposed to simulate the natural sunlight. Now your body is based around hormones and responses to sunlight. And even if it's artificial brightness, it still wakes you up. Now the nice thing about it is it's not immediately bright and disturbing as it gradually puts a nice emitted light until it turns into a bright yellow. At which point, which takes about 20 minutes, your body will feel the, the light stimulant and it'll help you to naturally wake up. But on top of that, this gentle sleep app actually makes noises of birds. And so there's been times where I'll be sleeping and all of a sudden I'll hear birds and I'm like, oh, it's so nice. And next thing you know, it's just the app. So first thing you need to do is download the gentle sleep app and try it out for a day. You're gonna see it's gonna wake you up and it's gonna start you off in a good mood. The second thing is if you go in the shower or you gotta fix your hair and you gotta get it wet or whatever it is, me personally, I have to wet my hair every single morning. And instead of wasting money and turning on the shower and waiting until it gets warm, that warm shower is just gonna relax you and probably make you go to sleep. Here's my challenge to you. Once you turn that water on, don't waste it. That 10 to 15 seconds before the warmth kicks in, jump in. Do that cold shower. You guys have seen people are posting about doing cold, like cold pools and how it burns fat. Well, stimulate the body. Get the energy going naturally. Jump into that cold shower. Even 10 seconds of once that water hits you, whoo, you're gonna get right fired up. The third thing I wanna tell you is to start your day with tea, then you can go to the hard stuff, okay? So green tea is actually a slower release of the stimulant from caffeine. So only use coffee when you absolutely need it. So start your day with tea because you're gonna get a slower release of caffeine and then when you need it, go into the coffee. Green tea and black tea actually have properties to burn fat, so you're double dipping. You're not only getting the stimulant to wake you up, but you're also getting the enzymes that help to metabolize more fat. Next is that you shouldn't eat till noon. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to cut out all calories. If you have low blood sugars or you're not used to intermittent fasting, then you can do a very small meal. Now, for my belly burners, I always recommend doing the one scoop of greens with about 60 grams of spinach, a little bit of ice, water, blend it up, and make that your first meal that you have in the day. Now, it's not really a meal because 60 grams of spinach is about 20 calories, which is very minimal, and the calories from spinach is low in the glycemic index, so the release of energy is gonna happen really slow. But think about what you're putting into your body. You're putting super food into your body. You're putting greens into your body, so it's gonna boost your metabolism. Metabolism. It's going to help to digest yesterday's food and it's going to give you the energy that you need and it's going to provide fullness into your stomach because if you have important meetings in the morning or in the afternoon, the last thing you want to do is have a big meal. What happens to you after you have a big meal? You get slowed down. You get bogged down. It doesn't even matter if it's a small muffin. Those carbohydrates get released as energy right away and if you don't use them, they get stored as body fat, but it takes a heavy metabolism process to break down that muffin and it's gonna take away from your brain's energy, it's gonna take away from your body's energy. So my suggestion is to wait till noon to have your first meal. And if you need to eat before noon, then do the green shake. The green shake is one scoop of greens, which we have available at the gym, G-R-E-A-A-N-S, which means it has E-A-A's. And then put the spinach, ice, and water. It's the best way to start your day. And the last but not least is to get moving. So you need to avoid the bed to car to desk syndrome. How many of us go from sleeping to the car, to the office, to sit on our asses all day? 
Now, even worse, now we generally just go from the bed to our desk, which is maybe a couple feet away from the bed or it's in the next room. And so we're moving even less. So the first thing that you wanna do is spark that metabolism by doing some type of workout. In the past, I put out a two minute ab shredder. So if you go back into our YouTube channel and look up two minute ab shredder, my recommendation is to start your day with just putting the fire into that core, right? A lot of us suffer from the belly build syndrome. And so what we need to do is the opposite. We need to stimulate blood flow into that area. We need to build the muscle in that area so that we can start burning more calories and we can shrink that gut. So there we have it guys, use the sleep alarm jump in the cold shower, use tea before you use coffee, try to avoid actual food before noon, and then get your ass moving. Do a two minute ab workout. Now, if you're looking for more workouts like this and you're looking to get in the best shape of your life, just recently we had a member get off her diabetes meds. She was on these meds for 10 years. Think about it. For the next 10 years, she's not gonna need them. The amount of money she's saving from just buying these meds will add up to the same price as you would if you joined a membership or a belly burn to increase your nutrition or to join us virtually. All you gotta do is go to www.fitclub.fit, hit the get started button. Let's start you off with five days for five bucks and we'll see you on the blue.